What up? It's your boy, Incredible Manny. Yes, I'm back at it again, and this is Beastars Manga Read Through, and we're starting with Chapter 32, but I'm back to the old way because someone made a very valid point to me on the other one is, uh, there was a possibility I could get copyrighted strike, and I do not want that to happen. I've lost, like, three channels already, so I don't want to lose another one. So, I really want to use the webcam and try to figure out a way to do that again. So, um, until I figure out a way to actually do that, we're going back to the old way. So, sorry about that, guys. But, let's just enjoy it anyway because it's Beastars and it's absolutely fantastic, man. So, let's get right into manga chapter 32. Turn off the lights. I told you, I love every title every time. It just, it just does. Let's get into it, man. So, we're picking up right after we left off with Juno pinning down Louis Senpai and and her making her declaration that she wants to be a B-star. So let's get it. Ah, ugh, this isn't good. Ugh, I can't even struggle. Okay. What would they do now that they're not alone in the training hall? Okay. All right. That's enough. You've shown, you've shown me how strong you are. Well, I might actually prefer you to eat me alive rather than Legoshi or Bill. Now, uh, that's another thing. I was calling legacy name wrong completely. Um, someone made that. Uh, they kind of pointed that out to me. Uh, they was just uh, joking around, and I found it hilarious because I didn't realize I was calling his name wrong until I watched it in the anime, and they said it completely different. So instead of legacy, like legacy, it's legosi. So so now I'm gonna call him legosi. So uh, let's get it, man. So Juno's looking very serious at Louis Senpai. Please. I don't ever intend intend to bear my fangs on anyone. Females don't like conflict. That's true. That's true. I find that hard to believe with females as greedy as you. Is being greedy so wrong? No, it isn't. It just happens to... No. It just happens that your greed comes from extreme confidence. Good looks good. Position a good partner. Huh? Good looks... Oh, okay. My bad. I read that wrong. Good looks, good position, a good partner... What you're trying to obtain are those three attributes, right? You've already got attribute number one. But I'm in the way of you having attribute number two. And as for attribute number three, your beloved Legoshi, Kun, he's harder to control than you think. He is. He is a little harder to control than you, than you think. I mean, he, oh boy, okay. My wrist. What? Why do you think that? I'll definitely make Legoshi senpai mine. Try keeping an eye on him. Then you'll know what I mean. Louis, Louis, Louis son knows. Louis Senpai knows. Louis Senpai knows. He knows exactly what's going on. For all I know, it could be a good ordeal for someone as overconfident as you. Well, I hope you improve in your dancing. C could it be? Oh, Legoshi, your tail's got split ends. Don't pull it. It'll hurt. Does he already have a girlfriend? Oh, well. Oh, hey, Juno-chan. Sorry to keep you waiting, Sage Crew. The actors team's done now. All right, did the rehearsals go well? Yeah, it did. It's because you stuck around while we were practicing. Do, 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 do. No, no, no. I didn't do anything. You look at me the same way you look at anyone else. <laughs> well, <laughs> he doesn't have those feelings for you, Juno Sign. Well, now, now, let's go back to the school. It's 8 o'clock. You're full of energy, Dom Senpai. Oh, the meteor looks like it's almost finished. Huh? You're all right. Oh, 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 you're right. The festival is in two days. It's so pretty. Huh? Two days? Is there really a female who has all has you all to herself? They say when a couple lights a candle together and puts it by the meteor, they're fated to be together forever. Do you think that's true? Mm, I don't know. It'd be cool if it was. A female who can see... A female who can see you be sad and, and happy whenever they want. A couple together forever? Look at Legacy. He's thinking. He's thinking about Haru. He's thinking about Haru. Is he thinking about someone? Oh no. What do I do? He looked at her. She looked at her. Okay. Um, Legacy Senpai. If it's fine with you, could you could he what? Oh, no, she's thinking like she don't oh, come on, come on. What? A power outage, not good. Hey guys, dumb senpai. That voice. Legoshi, where are you? Yeah, it's me, Legoshi. I'll grab your I'll grab your hand. What's happening? I can't see a thing. I think it's a power outage. It's all right. When the surroundings turn dark, we need to gather... Okay, okay. When the surroundings turn dark, all a herbivore's field of vision turns pitch black. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they can't see. They can't... They don't have, like... They can't see. Okay, my bad. I forgot for a moment. 
We need to gather all the members together. We've got a huddle. We need to stick together. Everything's all right. We have Carnivore members with us. How many members are here today? Els, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. 15. Everyone needs to get in a Carnivore, in our Carnivore ring. Oh, yeah, because we got Legacy. We got Juno. We got um, Bill. And um, I can't remember his name, but the, the Eagle. The Eagle the eagle can see, too. On the, on the other hand, Carnivores can't, can still maintain their clear vision in darkness. How long are the lights going to be out? Oba, that's his name. Oba or Ioba. I'm scared. I can't. I can't see a thing. Don't worry. The lights will be on in no time. It's only natural that the herbivores would be scared. Yeah, they can't see anything. But I like the way that they done it. They huddled up together so they could uh, protect all of the uh, herbivores uh, uh, from the pitch black. All the all the recent killings occurred while it was pitch black at night. And with this, and with all the ruckus, another killing seems likely. I need to protect the herbivore members. Oh, Haru-chan, do you got any errands to take care of? I can help you if you want. He just thought about Haru being out there by herself. Thank you, but I'm fine. I've only got a little bit to take care of, so don't worry. Get going. Wow. Then he thought about it, and he was like, Aoba, sorry, I need to go somewhere. Take care of the guys, okay? What? Where are you going? I'll be right back. Where would he go now of all times? Who knows? His pupils got larger. <gasps> Dude, okay, I see you. Haruchan, Haruchan. And he's he's running through a crowd of people. She's not here. Where is she? Legacy, he's, he's, he's like, he's searching. He's searching. He's searching. I need to calm down. I picked up a bit of her scent. Focus. Trace it. Trace it. Be safe. He's looking. He sees something. Thank goodness. She's hiding. Oh, she was hiding. That was good. That was good, Haru. Louis Kuhn. <gasps> She shouted out Louis' name. No, that's Legacy. Legacy. Uh, I, I, I'm so, I keep wanting to call him Legacy, but it's Legacy. Oh, man, that's Legacy. Legacy. Wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's messed up, Haru. I knew you'd come for me. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's not, that's not, that's not Louis. Uh, and then she looked surprised. Legacy Kuhn? The lights are back on. Good, good. I, I, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I, I'm really, really sorry. I didn't know it was you. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're safe. I really couldn't see anything. I'm so sorry. I know. Are you hurt? Your uniform's dirty. Here. Come on. Use it. And we have Juno looking at him treat Haru's with, <laughs> with such... Oh, man. And I think... Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. No way. A wolf and a bunny... That's just impossible, right? Wait, huh? What? No. And that's how it ends. Okay, okay. Let's get into the next chapter, man. Let's get into the next chapter. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we start, and this chapter is called To Make a Solemn Vow. Let's get into it, man. Hey, where's number four? I don't see him. Hurry up and find him. We can't lose him. A little boy trembles with his feet. Trembles in his feet with a knife in both hands. What is going on? Okay, well, who is this little boy? <gasps> you guys! Is this Louis Senpai's pass? Okay, okay. I need number four. Okay, so I think we're going to dig into Louis Senpai's pass. <gasps> we are! That was him having a flashback or a dream. Well, having a dream, more likely. Because he wakes up and he's shouting and he's getting it. And he, they wrote gas, so he's gasping for air. <gasps> Dude, what happened to Louis Senpai? Got a nice room. Dude, his room is nice. Look at that room. Okay. Oh, sorry. Here's number four. Oh, thanks. I really needed this. What? It's okay. We've got number four shirt. All right, then. Let's get started with morning practice. What is going on? I'm lost. Okay, note. In Japan, four is an unlucky number because one of its pronunciations sounds like the word for death, she. Okay, the number of death. It's been 13 years. My my past is firmly etched into my being. <sighs> He's got four marks on his foot. S was he in like some kind of slaughter camp or something like that? No problem. So then we we jump to Louis and Pipe. He's, he's putting on his clothes and he's got on his clothes and he's walking down the hallway and he has flowers in tow. If my past has to stick with me for my entire life, then all I can do is live with it. That's true. 
I happened to come across the back, the back alley market. I love that. I love the back alley market, and I found out your secret. I didn't expect that scum to find out, but there's no need to panic. I just need to prepare myself for the worst case scenario. Abu. Okay, so then we ha we we we're, we're getting his we're getting his pass. Thirteen years ago. Ah ah ah. My experiences back then will always hunt me. Wow, man. Ah. Thirteen years ago. Come on, you're up, number seven. Ooh. It'll be fine. They'll eat you after you're taking your sleeping pills. What is this like? No. Oh. What's wrong, number four? You hungry? You already ate breakfast. You're not allowed any luxury. No matter how valuable you are, how valuable you are to the market. Four was my ID number. I was five years old at the time, and I was raised in the back alley market as livestock. That's so sad. So, remember, I remember talking to the panda and him grabbing legacy. So, this has to, it's 13 years ago, so this is definitely in the past. Is that how they got meat in the back alley market before they started getting it from morgues and funeral homes? Raising livestock is considered taboo even in the back alley market. That's why they reserved an inconspicuous tower to stabilize the meat smelling business. The livestock spends their lives in the basement. The customers go to the second floor to wait for their order. What? And they were okay with that. Well, you know what, man? That's just like real life, man. People, and I mean, I, I don't want to try to compare it like that, but like sex slavery, people buy these people and, and everything. So... That's why I love this manga, man. It so very well sits well with real life and real life problems. We were nothing but food with a price tag to them. We weren't taught to how to speak or read. So that's why he was making all those noises, awu and abu and stuff. He didn't know he didn't know words. He couldn't talk or read or anything. But we still knew that being taken away from the basement wouldn't would would be would be tanta tent tent. I don't, I don't know, would be tantamount to death. Okay, my bad. Tantamount to death? I, I don't, I can't, see, I don't know. Tantamount, tantamount to death? I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm going to be real. I'm sorry, y'all. This is the room, huh? Yes, sir. I would have never imagined the great Ogama, Ogama of the Horns conglomerate would set foot in this filth, in a filthy place like this. No need for the flattery. Is the fawn in this cage a red deer? Yes, sir, but number four's body is small and fragile. I can get you a healthier fawn from a cage, from another cage. No need. I will buy this fawn. Who is this dude? This dude looks awesome. Okay, I'm going to take a guess, and I'm assuming that this is Lewis's uh, foster father that, that, that adopted him and stuff, I'm assuming. A stag appeared before my eyes. You will come with me, young fawn. I could tell from this entire appearance and tone that my life wasn't in danger. But that's exactly why I denied him. Come on, number four. Oh, oh, why? Hey, calm down. You're going to live. You're quite the righteous one. Does it really pain you to leave your friend behind if you get to live? Ooh. He has good insight. Thank you, good sir. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm sorry for the noises I'm making. I just didn't know how else to express it. Oh, sure. Thank you for the large sum you gave us. Oh, to this day, I still wonder what happened, what my young friends were thinking when I was being taken to the elevator. You don't seem to know how to speak, but I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Aguma. Oh, and I'm the only son of my noble family. However, I suffer from a birth defect that re renders me unable to produce offspring. So he passed Lewis off as, well, he adopted Lewis as his son, and he's going to pass it off that him and his wife had Lewis. Dude, that is balls. A little sad, but at the same time, it's a good thing because Lewis would have been fed and, and killed. But this way, he's saved and he's living a wonderful life. Well, from our perspective, it's a wonderful life. We don't we don't know how it goes behind closed doors. But he's living, he's eating, he's healthy, and he's attending school, and he's on his way to be the next beast star. So I think it's a pretty decent life. That's where you come in. You don't have a family lineage, which is why I want to raise you as my son and make you a part of my prosperous family. I will, ah, I'm very serious. He bites him. What? You're a stubborn one. 
I won't show you mercy just because you're a little fun. Did he push him back off on the elevator? He pushed him up there with the people. He pushed him up the elevator. Then he pushed him up there with the people that eat this, this eating the kids. Now take this knife and use it well. <gasps> what? Okay, first off, I'm not upset. I think I think those people got exactly what they deserve for eating for being cannibals. Well, I mean, well, they're animals, so they can't. But they're you know they're anthropomorphic, so they can walk and talk. So I feel like eating other animals is cannibalism in their world so he pushed him off on the thing now take this knife and use it well you will confront the most dangerous enemy the, da the most dangerous kind of enemy a group of hungry carnivores waiting for their meal <gasps> wow closes the door a bear i will bear witness to the full extent of your gallantry oh uh -huh. what is that supposed to be our snack a little fun huh looks tasty he's panting don't be scared, boy. Come over. And then Lewis got a serious look in his face. And they right, and they charged right at him. And Lewis took... <gasps> he didn't even try to attack them. He took the knife and held it to his own throat. Dude, that is boss, man. That is, that is boss. Dude, I get that. I get that. Because let's be real. He's little. He's He, he hasn't been eating. He's not healthy. He doesn't stand a chance against... So what, what do we got? We got a bear, a hippo, and a lion. He doesn't stand a chance. And then he's like, ah, and then the, um, Ogama looks on, opens the door and pulls him back in, shuts the door. You really surprised me. You would take your own life rather than be eaten alive. You are exactly what I've been looking for. I'm proud of you. You are worthy of being my son. You have what it takes to change the world. Dude, I want to know more about Ogama now as well. Dude, and Louis Senpai's past. As I already said, I really, I like, I, I really was loving this character now. But this is, this is so much even, this is so much better. Like now that I know his past and what really happened, don't you realize you can turn your pain and suffering into strength? He hugged him. You, it will be your mission to accomplish that, Lewis. Oh, Lewis took flowers to the, to the, um, to the place where Tim got killed at. A tribute of determination to his underclassmen, Tim. I will never forget your death. I made a vow that I would change this world for the better. Dude, dude this is epic, man. Dude, I know why you guys was on it about this, man. Dude, dude. One of the most coolest backstories in manga that I've read anyway, or anime that's going to be, you know. Dude, that is a cool backstory, man. That is an awesome backstory. I don't know if anybody, dude, they, oh boy. I mean, you guys know I love a whole bunch of other anime as well. But, dude, that is one of the most wonderful backstories. Let's go and do chapter 34 as well. A meek bodyguard. Two boys like the same girl as the meteor festival as the meteor festival draws near. How will their relationship fare? Well, that's Legacy and, 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 and Lewis Senpai, of course. So, that, they got a picture of them standing up back to back. And they're talking about the two boys. Okay. Lewis offers a tribute to the late Tim and the scene of the crime. Okay, practice is over. Let's start cleaning up. I can't be seen here. I need to go back to my room. I should try to, I should try visiting Haru sometime. She seemed kind of upset yesterday, judging by her text. So we got a text message from Haru. Haru, what? Are you mad at me? Doesn't matter. When it's finally the day of the media festival, I won't matter at all. What? That's not true, Haru. Then she tried to call him, or he tried to call her. Sheesh. Females, why must they act? Why must they always act temperamental without an explanation? What the world? Okay, so I'm, I'm scrolling down and I see like someone jumps from behind Lewis Senpai or jumps on the side of him and he turns around and looks surprised and trying to see what he see. <gasps> Who is that? Somebody was going to bite Lewis Senpai. Somebody was going to attack Lewis Senpai. What? Legacy saved Lewis Senpai. Somebody was going to attack Lewis Senpai. Judging by these spots and bone structure, he must be a jaguar and not a leopard. What am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with him? I woke up early just so I could give a flower to Tim. Shoot, I didn't think Lewis Senpai would be here. Guess I'll have to hide. I don't think he wants to see me right now. I just got to hide here till he's gone. So then we have Legacy hiding and someone sees him. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. No one's trying to attack him. My bad. I, I jumped to conclusions. But Legacy was hiding because he didn't want to be seen by Louis Senpai because they're, they're going through some things because they both like Haru. And the Jaguar spotted him and, gra and Legacy grabbed him so he wouldn't tell. <laughs> if I didn't restrain this guy, he would have definitely attacked Louis Senpai. <gasps> but in that case, why? I can't compete. With the feline speed, I need to restrict his movement. I knew he was going to attack him, right? So, all right, all right, his footsteps are getting quiet. Hey, I'm sorry, okay, let me go. Shit, since when did Lewis get a bodyguard? <gasps> I'm just his junior, and I respect him. I'm starting to get the bigger picture. I know what I need to do now. Tell me. Why did you try to attack Lewis Senpai? I knew that. I knew. I knew someone was trying to attack. Him. The way that it happened, you can definitely tell that that was the way that somebody was trying to attack someone. <laughs> You're nothing special. Why would I tell you? Just go ahead and do do tricks for Lewis. Dude, Legacy grabbed him. I, 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 okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. The Legacy. Okay, talk. You should already know since you're a carnivore. There are a lot of carnivore students who plan who are planning to lynch Lewis. Why? There's a rumor going around that Lewis will definitely become the next beast star after the festival. If he, of all animals, becomes the, the school's leader, the carnivore's social standing will suffer horribly. Look, I just wanted to get ahead of everyone else and try to make a name for myself. You're a wolf, so you should understand how we feel. We got to keep Lewis in check. We'll suffer if we don't. He stepped into the spot, a stop between a fight between a wolf and a tiger. He has the best girl a guy could have all to himself. He paid his respects to an underclassman in secret. And compare that to me. Whenever I try to take matters in my own hand, my methods are always aggressive and cunning. Oh, Conivy. Dude, I'm outmatched. Ow, 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 ow. He grabbed his tail. Or is it? No, that's his arm, right? Ow, ow, ow. I give, I give, I give. Okay, he grabbed his arm. I give, damn it. He's the most suitable beast to become a beast star. If a bunch of carnivores want to turn against him, then I'll protect him. Now I understand how Haruchan felt during that power outage yesterday. I mustn't ruin Haruchan and Louis Senpai's relationship. Legacy, Legoshi is the man, man. Dude, that is a boss, man. He, lo he loves Haru. And he respects Louis Senpai. And with all these people, other people trying to attack Louis Senpai... He is still there to be on Lewis Senpai's side, even if it's not just just because he respects Lewis Senpai and he's respecting Lewis Senpai and Haru's relationship. That is boss status, man. It's always like this. And then, then he punched him. The dude punched him. It's impossible to protect Lewis all by yourself, idiot. Things are getting pretty dangerous. If I'm going to protect Lewis Senpai, then I need to do something about my feelings for Haru-chan. Oh, what happened to you? You're so weird. I just need to tell her how I feel. So, really, what's, what's, what's wrong? Does that hurt? No, it's just the nosebleed. Wow. I don't, okay, I see you. I see, I see you, Legacy. You're going to man up and tell her. I've never confessed to anyone before. I never thought I'd confess to her since we we're friends. Really, fights aren't good, you know. So, she's looking, she's looking. It doesn't seem very safe outside. Everyone's talking about talking about it they're saying that a carnivore probably pulled the power i'm just glad nothing bad happened yeah what do you think legacy coon i i haruchan i love <gasps> whoa i'm getting stung by mosquitoes <laughs> he couldn't tell her so he's uh, he's like he's, he's so he's just he's just so out of it that he couldn't tell her and she's looking she's looking no you're not how would i know how would you know i could have i could smell if, it, if there were any bites yeah, with your unclogged nostril. <gasps> she knew what he was going to say, and she didn't want to ruin their relationship as friends. So she was like, oh, I'm getting stung by mosquitoes. <gasps> Haru, okay, I got to give Haru her credit too. Okay, look, I'm just, I, I'm just wanted to tell you that I love, ah, my ears are itchy. <laughs> so, okay, I get, I get why she's doing it. She doesn't want to ruin their relationship or their friendship. Hey, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? What gives? That's what I should be saying. Why are you trying to tell me something that that important when you've got a tissue up your nose? I'm not prepared for this. You're unbelievable. <gasps> wow. So he grabbed her. Haru-chan, I don't want to ruin the relationship that we have now. You're, an important, you're important to me, and I respect Louis-senpai, and I don't want to cause any harm. 
especially with him with how society is now so I'll tell you once and I want you to know how I feel let's meet tomorrow at the meteor festival at 5 in the evening I want you to listen to what I have to say now would be too, now would be too sudden serious you got a serious look on his face but if tomorrow's but if, if it's tomorrow you can prepare yourself right that still sounds really stressful y yeah okay see you tomorrow yeah um take care of your nose <sighs> what should I do does it have to be tomorrow I haven't been so worked up over a guy in years he doesn't he doesn't want any harm huh but that's impossible legacy coon as long as feral instincts exist in this world, animals will always live to hurt themselves and each other. So, dude, I wanted to finish that out, but like my eye, I don't know if you guys can see it, but my eyes got real huge because behind Haru, we have two shadowy figures. So let's go on down and see what's happening, man. They kidnapped Haru. Hey, don't you agree? Lego Shikun. They kidnapped Haru and her shoe fell off. No, no. Oh my gosh. Dude, this story, oh, this is getting too epic, man. Every chap after every chapter, there's such just wonderfulness, man. And dude, from reading all three of these chapters, I'm just gonna be real. Oh boy. It's it's oh my boy, oh man. Dude, it's so serious. I love everything about it. In the first chapter, I mean it was just a nice, you know, it was a nice calm chapter dealing with how telling us how Juno really felt and how Lewis told her that you might want to make sure Le Legoshi doesn't have anyone else before you go out to try to be a B-star and compare and then claim you're, you're, claim you're going to get him for your lover. So, like, you, you really need to make sure. And then the and then 33? We got Lewis's backstory. And dude, that... Hands down, one of the best backstories I've read in a long, long time. And I can't believe how awesome it was, man. It was absolutely fantastic. Him still having the number four etched in the bottom of his foot. His foster father taking him in. And, well, his adoptive father taking him in. And Lewis threatening to kill himself than rather being eight of life. Dude, there's so much going on, man. And, and I have so much more respect for Lewis now. Like, it was like it was like right here at first, but now it's like up here. And then after reading thirty three and going into thirty four and to finding out that people want to lynch Lewis, and after learning about his past and then learning that Legacy Legoshi wants to be his bodyguard to protect Lewis because he respects him and he respects Haru. There's so much going on, but every chapter is better than the last chapter dude, that is absolutely boss man this is your boy nick incredible man don't forget to smash the like button you can't smash it anymore comment down below and i'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe but only if you really want to man and remember that anime matters anime is greatness and anime is life man and <sighs> manga matters as well man because b stars made it so I'm just still reeling after after 34 and Haru being kidnapped. I'm just still reeling, man. I'm I'm, I'm this is what incredible, man. Peace out.